just a short ferry ride across the water, Jura's distillery also gets involved in Fay Shill. Although there was no distillery bottling this year for the festival, instead the focus was on Jura's new range of single malts. The distillery also shares its open day with Kilhoman, whose 11 year old bottling for the festival proved extremely popular. We're here at Kilhoman's Open Day and you've got the festival bottling in your hand and this is rather a special one for you because it's the oldest release from the distillery so far. Yeah absolutely, I mean this is uh, 11 years of age, uh, it's the oldest release we've uh, put out from Kilhoman since we started in 2005 and it's one of 744 bottles, it's matured in uh, first filled bourbon barrels, 55% uh, alcohol strength and retailing today for £111. Mm, really citrusy really the soft smoke coming in the back there yes and I mean it's, it's not aggressive it, and it's lovely and sweet and fruity mm. uh, and I think it's come together really well it's delicious and Anthony as we were coming up to the distillery today I noticed you now have your maltings up and running how's the rest of the expansion going it's going well we hope that the, the new production facility will be uh, finished in the next sort of six months by the end of the year uh, and we're replicating everything we've uh, been using up until now, same stills and mash tun and six more washbacks and uh, we're very excited about the fact that we can now increase production and keep the character of the spirit the same as we've had so far. Great, well look, best of luck, I hope it all goes well, thank you very okay. much. Okay, great, Cheers. thank you. Kilhoman isn't the only distillery undergoing construction work on Isla. Next time we'll be at Bunnahoven Distillery, which is having an £11 million makeover. Plus, we'll be having a sneak peek at Ardnaho, the new distillery from Hunter Lang, which is set to start making whisky within the next few months.